Now, if they weren't fighting, if they didn't fight for Manuel Diaz, for all the families who suffered at the hands of the pigs, we wouldn't be here right now. So the credit belongs first and foremost to them for keeping up the struggle, for continuing to fight in their neighborhood every day, every week. Who fought every day to reject humiliation at the hands of the pigs. Because the fight, the fight is really for our basic humanity. Yes, we're fighting against capitalism. Yes, we're fighting against imperialism. Yes, we're fighting against colonialism. Which shows its face every single day in the Trayvon Martin trial. In countless episodes that we see on TV, on the news. Yes, but in the end it's a basic struggle for humanity, which is what they want to rob from us. And so... I think the families here who've suffered deaths, who've suffered stolen lives, are the first to tell you that they want peace. But not peace on the on the terms of the pigs. Not, not peace on the terms of those who seek to humiliate us. And so, here in our, like we're coming from Oxnard with the Todo Para El Pueblo Collective based out of Oxnard. And the 805, that's up there in Ventura County, on the coast, right between Los Angeles and Santa Barbara. And our struggle against police brutality has really kicked off about a year ago. We were seeing the actions in Anaheim. We were seeing the families stand up, stand up to make sure that their their children's lives were not forgotten, that the deaths weren't simply weren't simply brushed aside by the media. Because what the media does is not only do they fail to report the truth, not only do they serve as Xerox machines for the police department, but then they go and they, they character assassinate the martyrs, the martyrs in our community. It's great that we come out here, it's important that we keep up the fight in our own communities. In our own communities. And not only that, is that we allow the communities that we visit in solidarity to take leadership because in our mission statement of the Total Puerto Rico Public Collective, we say that our community, our movement can only succeed if the community is at, is the head and the heart of our movement. If it's our community that's leading it. And so while we know the we may know the big words, while we may know the theory, you know the community lives it every single day. The community lives with a boot on their neck every single day. But guess what our weapons is? Love! Unity! Fighting! And that's how you win! Fuck the police! Fuck the police.